Now there's another problem with instant runoff voting, and let's see what that looks like. Uh, so here's an election. Let's find the winner under instant runoff voting. So right now, Brown has uh, 34 uh, first place votes, right? 34 first place votes. Uh, and Carter here has 29, Adams has 37. And so first to elim be eliminated is going to be Carter. Uh, those votes are going to get transferred to, to Adams. Uh, and so Adams is going to end up with 37 plus 29, uh, is, you know, 66 votes, uh, for Adams. And, uh, Brown still has, uh, 34 votes. And so Adams is the winner, uh, under instant runoff voting. Now suppose that something were to happen and, and somebody accidentally lost the ballots, um, you know, which of course isn't good. Uh, and, and, but people already sort of knew what was going to have happened, so the results had been announced, like, uh, you know, maybe exit polling or something like that. Uh, but the, they actually had to do an official revote. Uh, and suppose that 10 of these people decide, I'm going to stop backing Brown and instead going to, uh, jump on the bandwagon, if you will, uh, and support Adams. And so there's a change in the voting. Now, your first thought would probably be, well, that should only help Adams, right? Because, I mean, Adams was winning before, and now more people are voting for Adams. That should help. But notice what happens when we actually go to our instant runoff voting. So here, Brown has 24 total now first choice votes versus Carter's 29. And so now, the next candidate to be eliminated is going to, or the first candidate to be eliminated is going to be Brown. So we're going to eliminate Brown. And when we do that, these 22 votes go to Carter, whereas these two votes go to Adams. Uh, so Adams gets bumped up to 49 votes, but Carter gets bumped up a whole nother 22 votes, uh, and gets all the bumped up all the way to 51. And all of a sudden, Carter wins. That should be surprising. Carter wins. Uh, and, and so even though the only changes made to the ballot were ones that favored Adams, uh, in this case, it caused Adams to lose the election. Uh, and so this is violating something called the monotonicity, uh, criteria, criterion. Uh, the monotonicity criterion says that if voters, uh, change their votes to increase the preference for a candidate, in this case, these 10 people increase the preference for, for Adams, that it should not harm that candidate's chance of winning. It doesn't seem fair that that should influence or, or change their, or decrease their chance of winning. Uh, and so that is another fairness criterion that is, in this case, violated by instant runoff voting.